The majority of lions live in Africa south of the Sahara, with a small population in western India. Throughout time, they have disappeared from over 90% of their historical range. Previously, around 11 lion subspecies were described. Then, it was divided into two subspecies, the African lion and the Asiatic lion living in western India. But studies show that lions from Asia have a closer relation to ones from Western and Central Africa than to lions from Eastern and Southern Africa. The famous Barbary or Atlas lions were once found in the deserts and mountains of Northern Africa, ranging from Morocco, Algeria to Tunisia. Barbary lions are entrenched in history. The Romans used these majestic creatures to battle gladiators in the Colosseum. So many North African lions were taken by the Romans that they vanished from vast areas. During the reign of Julius Caesar, thousands of these lions were killed. In the early 1900s, in Europe and North America, lions were often promoted as Barbary lions. By the middle of the 19th century, the population of North African lions or Barbary lions diminished rapidly. This was due to the wide distribution of firearms and the lion eradication policy by the Turkish administration. Certain tribes were dedicated to hunt Barbary lions. These tribes were paid well for lion skins and were exempt from taxation. The bounty policy continued under the colonialists. During French control, famous lion hunter Jules Gérard supported complete eradication by organizing lion hunts. From 1873 to 1883, within a span of 10 years, over 200 lions were killed in French Algeria. By the end of the 19th century, lions had virtually become extinct in Algeria and Tunisia. Around the 1920s, scientists assumed that Barbary lions were extinct. In 1925, on a flight from Casablanca to Dakar, photographer Marceline Flandrin took a photo of a wild Barbary lion in the Atlas Mountains. Although the precise location of this photo is unknown, it's the last visual record of a wild Barbary lion. By the 1940s, Barbary lions were largely deemed to be extinct. The Barbary lion was said to have distinct characteristics. Allegedly, it weighed up to 230 kilograms and had a large mane. They had the most well-developed mane out of all lions. They were also thought to be larger than other lions. Sir Alfred Pease, a British politician and pioneer settler in Africa, mentioned that North African lions 50 years ago were certainly enormous, and the reason was because they fed on mutton. After tigers, lions are the second largest member of the cat family. On average, adult male lions can weigh between 190 to 250 kilograms. Lions do have impressive manes, some of which can grow up to 16 centimeters long. They are a sign of dominance. As lions get older, the manes grow darker. They help attract females while also protecting their head and neck from injuries during fights. But not all lions have manes. For instance, the male lions of Tsavo in Kenya are usually maneless. Some believe that this is due to the hot and dry climate in Tsavo, because heavy manes can be cumbersome for a lion in such a climate. Similarly, the legendary large mane of Barbary lions may have been an adaption to their climate. Since they inhabited the Atlas Mountains and faced winters that were colder than other African regions, these lions possibly developed much larger manes. However, Alfred Pease wrote that the Barbary lions often had magnificent manes, but there is no evidence that they are of greater average size than other African lions. But in 1856, Jules Gérard described the weight of a Barbary lion being between 270 to 300 kilograms. In 1970, Czech biologist Vratislav Mazak wrote that the Barbary lion should be regarded as a well-distinguished subspecies. 
and because it inhabited the whole mountainous system of the Atlas Mountains, these lions were almost entirely separated from other lion populations by deserts on the south, southeast, and east. Mazak concluded that the Barbary lion went extinct in Tunisia and Algeria in the late 1800s, but survived into the 20th century in Morocco. Mazak also measured the skull of a Barbary lion. It had an estimated greatest length of 360 millimeters. Though large, bigger skulls of sub-Saharan lions are known to reach over 380 millimeters and even 400 millimeters. Mazak stated the skulls were similar in size to that of East African lions, but the Barbary lion skulls had a more robust shape. He further said that the Barbary skulls had characteristics similar to Asiatic lions. This suggested a closer relation between North African lions and Asiatic lions. In 1937, workmen digging at the Tower of London discovered the skulls of two African lions. They were later taken to the Natural History Museum and were deemed to be pure Barbary lions. One of the skulls was considered to be the oldest lion found in the UK following the extinction of wild cave lions during the last ice age. But how did lion skulls end up at the Tower of London? Back in the day, the Tower of London had a menagerie of exotic animals, ranging from polar bears to elephants. 700 years ago, lions were kept at the tower's entrance, serving as gatekeepers. In the wild, lions normally live in social groups known as prides. In fact, they are the only big cats that regularly live that way, since most of them are solitary by nature. A pride can consist of as few as three lions, or even up to 40. Usually, they have one dominant male. But according to historical records, the Barbary lions were said to live in pairs or smaller groups, sometimes living solitary lives. But some of these observations were made in the early 20th century, when the population of Barbary lions was already dwindling. Hence, it might have been the norm to see solitary lions or small groups. However, some experts believe that due to the low prey density in North Africa, lions were found singly or in pairs compared to the prides of South Africa. By the end of the 18th century, true Barbary lions were hardly seen. Those lions that remained were owned by the Sultan of Morocco, who had a menagerie in his royal palace at Fez. These lions were gifted to royal families of Morocco and were known as royal lions. Today, although a handful of royal lions exist in European zoos, it's not entirely proven that they descend from pure Barbary lions. Currently, the IUCN has classified the Barbary lion as extinct in the wild and in captivity.